last drive, but what was the mindset? Was it to get down the field and get a field goal or just get what you could get? Or? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, every time we get the ball, we're always looking to score. I mean, touchdown is our mindset, but uh, I think right there towards the end, we had a lot of confidence in Lambeau, and we, I mean, we just we knew he could make the field goal. So, what was the thought process when Ole Miss is up there late? You know, with three minutes, they've got the lead, they got the fifty yards to touchdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember sitting over there with Johnny uh, on the bench and. We, we just kind of started laughing when they scored. Um, not because they aren't, aren't a good team, but we were laughing because we were just, we knew we had to score again. And it was going to be a shootout. And, um, but we, I don't think we were ever worried. I mean, we always know that uh, when we get up there, we got to, when we go out, we have to score. And I mean, that's our job. And um, we can't let their defense dictate uh, how well we play. So um, we, were, we were confident, uh, I think, the whole fourth quarter, really, the whole game. There were several drives, especially in the first half, when it was pretty much your number called all the way down the field. How was that working out? That's just something they were showing you, and Johnny kept coming your way. Or yeah, you know, I I don't really know to be honest. Uh, we just were we were meshing, and uh, it, I think that is uh, comes from having confidence in me. Uh, back when he was a scout team player, we were on scout team together, and it was fun because we always found each other, and so. Um, I think that just happened to be we carried out onto a real game, and um, so I think that's kind of where it came from. Just kind of meshed and found me. So, Travis, how amazing of a ride is this? You doing what you do tonight, Lambo doing what he did tonight to win this game. Two guys that were at the start of the year really non-factors. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's been a long, long journey. Uh, I think I, I had my really first two catches back in the same Houston game and. When I scored that touchdown, um, I just I caught it. Coaches gave me a hard time and were like, you know, act like you've been in the end zone before. And I was just like, I haven't. I mean, <laughs> in five years. And so uh, when I scored, I just kind of looked up to the sky and just, I mean, thank God because I'm sure when Lambo was in here, he did nothing but uh, give praise to God. And that's that's where everything came from. I mean, just hanging in there, uh, having faith, and uh, trusting in God's plan that He has for uh, each guy out there. And um, it's been it's been such a tremendous blessing to have uh, Lambo on the team, and uh, because he's he's two lockers over from me, and I I I'll just absolutely love it. So it's been a, it's been a great ride for both of us. Talk about when Mantel gets hurt. I mean, what's the feel on the sideline? Uh, it was it was it was quiet. I mean, it, you know, uh, well, sort of. The crowd was pretty excited, but uh, you know, it, it I I had confidence in Matt and Kenny both. Um, they take reps every day in practice, and um, so I didn't. I didn't doubt that they're uh, they're capable of going in. But I mean, obviously Johnny's a good player, and uh, he's one of my great friends. And yeah, I hate seeing him go down. And uh, uh, just prayers up for him um, in that moment. And he battled back, and and he came out and was fine. So <laughs> Johnny, yeah, I mean he is. Uh, he's a he's a. Funny player. He's he's outstanding because he's I've never seen somebody that's such a gamer. Uh, he just goes out there. He can, uh, you know. We were watching the Texas OU game before the in the hotel room and uh, just kind of laughing. And, and he just flips a switch when he gets in the stadium. And I mean, he's unreal. He's one of the best players in the country, if not the best. So it's been fun playing with him. Is it fair to say more? he lives for moments like what we just saw? Oh, absolutely. I mean. I never, like I said back to that question, I just never doubted. I mean, I'm always com comfortable. I mean, I think we had a fourth down long, and uh, he, you know, he made a big play with his feet, and uh, I probably should have took a hit off of him, but he toughed it out, and he's the toughest guy on the team, and, I mean, just obviously he's one of the best players in the nation. I think it gives us a lot of momentum, a lot like last year. I mean, that locker room was ecstatic. I mean, just same as last year. Uh, I mean, Ole Miss is such a great team. I mean, uh, I was telling somebody, it's like um, they just they show up. I mean, regardless of uh, – they're a good team. Uh, they, all their, they're coached well. Uh, their players fly around. They do a great job. Um, so, a lot of momentum going to the next game. they're better than, what you, than they were last year? I mean, have you seen uh, them they lost? I, I think they were uh, They were better this year. Uh, I mean, just – I mean, they – they t continually progressed. I mean, they got some new guys in, obviously, and lost some players. But um, absolutely, they're a better team. I think they're going to go on and uh, win, have, have some good wins. I mean, if they can bounce back from this. So they're a good team. All right. Thanks, Travis. Yeah. Appreciate it.